And that brings us to Newton's first law of motion. There are three laws of motion that Newton produced, and this is the first. I'll state it like this, and you should write this down, and you should learn this, and you should understand it. Every bit of it should make sense, too. An object at rest will tend to remain at rest. An object at rest will remain at rest. An object at rest will remain at rest, and an object in motion an object in motion will remain in motion. And here are the important details. An object in motion will remain in motion in a straight line at a constant speed. In a straight line at a constant speed unless acted upon by an outside force. Unless acted upon by an outside force. That is Newton's first law of motion, and that's a big deal. Getting that right made a huge different in, difference in the understanding of the world and the advancement of science. So I'll read it again, and don't just copy the words onto the page. You need to think about them, and every bit of it should make sense to you, especially after our, our earlier discussion of inertia. An object at rest will remain at rest, and an object in motion will, will remain in motion in a straight line at a constant speed unless acted upon by an outside force. In other words, if no forces act on an object, it's either going to continue to sit still if it's sitting still, or it's going to continue moving if it's moving, and it will continue moving in a straight line at a constant speed. This is essentially the concept of inertia that we've been talking about, and Newton's first law is sometimes called the law of inertia. So when you hear that term, the law of inertia, that's just a term that is synonymous with Newton's first law of motion. Now I'll go over another way to state the first law that essentially means the same thing. This is a shorter, more succinct statement, and you can write this in your notes too. You could say it like this. If no net force acts on an object... If no net force acts on an object, then its velocity is constant. If no net force acts on an object, then its velocity is constant. That short statement essentially sums up every bit, everything in the other statement as well. And when we say its velocity is constant, that means the velocity doesn't change. So if it's moving, it continues moving at the same speed and in the same direction because velocity has direction. Remember, velocity is a vector. It's a directional quantity. And if it has no velocity, if the velocity is zero, well, the velocity is constant. That means it would stay zero. So this shorter statement captures both of those ideas, that if the object is moving, it keeps moving, and if it's still, it remains still. And because we're talking about velocity, which is a vector, this shorter statement captures the idea that it continues moving in the same direction. I prefer the longer statement, though, just because it's so clear and descriptive, and that's more like Newton actually stated it. It's just spelled out in very clear terms. An object at rest will, will remain at rest, and an object in motion will remain in motion in a straight line at a constant speed unless acted upon by an outside force.